let's get the show on the road. So, uh, I want to quickly run by you how to get started with the Replicate. And uh, so, this video is about like the first thing you do after you have flashed uh, your BeagleBone with a Kamikaze eMMC flasher. So I've done that on this printer and it's all set up. And um, so the thing about the new Kamikaze image, it hasn't been uploaded yet, but I'm going to do that uh, after this video. And um, it now, so one of the problems from the factory was that the EEPROM was not uh, updated. So it, it gave an invalid signature. But now that is a part of the uh, starting procedure so that if you have your replicate mounted on top of the uh, Beagle Mall Black the first time it starts with a fresh uh, Kamikaze installation then it will check the header signature and if it's wrong then it will flash it with a uh, RevB uh, uh, Beagle Mall Black um, EEPROM uh, thing Okay, so let's get, get started with this. So, there's a two second <laughs> introduction sound that sort of is a ringing sound during the boot of the thing. And then it goes away and then it comes back for a while. Just listen for that. There it is. And then that lasts for what? Four, three, four, five seconds. And once it stops, that's when redeem is running. <laughs> so that's uh, the first two seconds will likely never go away. But the ones during the boot, uh, that's like the last thing on my to do list to fix um, for the Kamikaze installation thing. So if anyone wants to give a patch to that, that's that's very welcome. Okay, so now it's running, I know that. And then I'm gonna, hopefully I'll be recording my screen as well here. So uh, uh, you, you should see what I'm actually typing in here. But what I'm gonna type in is, kamikaze.local. Oh, and, but hold on. I have not connected that thing to this. So there are uh, several ways to do this. Perhaps the easiest is to use a USB cable and then just plug that into the... USB device port and uh, get connection established there. And uh, let me just try and see if kamikaze.local is up and running because of that. It is, which is good. So the first thing you'll notice is that you, uh, the new thing is that it goes directly into Octoprint. So there's some natting set up that will um, uh, sort of <laughs> make it look like uh, Octoprint is running on port 80, which is the standard uh, port. And so you'll get a question, do you want to disable access? And if this was a computer that was, if this was on a, if this had an external IP, I would say, I would uh, configure this with the username and password. But since this is for demonstration purposes, I'm going to say no to that. So, the, and once that is done, you need to refresh that uh, browser. There we go. And so... Looking at the um, the serial port here, you'll see that uh, there's one called Dev Octoprint One. That's the one you need. If you don't see that, that means Redeem is not running as it should. So, if that happens, you can um, go into log oh, into settings and then logs, and then there's a log entry called Plugin Redeem Log which um, will show you what is going on with Redeem. 
and so that is updated continuously so you can have a look at that um, but now I see that everything is fine here uh, some Not great messages, but at least redeem ready. That's that's a good sign. Okay. Um, so that's that's if redeem is not running, then check the log and then see what's wrong. But now it is running, and so I can push connect. And right off the bat, there you should start to see some temperature uh, readings uh, if you have a thermistor connected. I have so I've got 23 degrees on god is it that hot in here 23 degrees it's it's degrees Celsius but still okay um, and then you should be able to uh, do some things like move things but remember this is a Delta printer and the default configuration is not for Delta printer so what I want to do is I want to I want to find a configuration that closely matches this printer. This is a Causal Mini. And if I go into settings and then redeem plugin, I can see there's some, some information here and I can see that there are a lot of profiles. So I've got one that's called Causal Mini. And if I press the star, that will become the configuration. After that is done, I need to restart Redeem. And so I press that button. And once that is done, the uh, Octoprint is disconnected from Redeem because it's restarted. So I need to reconnect. And now I see that I can actually move the printhead and it it's more closely resembles what I want. Still, if I look at printer profiles, it was moving really slow now. So I'm going to go into printer's profile. I'm going to choose form factor circular for this printer because it has a circular bed. And I also want the Z axis to be higher. So I'm going to set that to 6,000. Yes, confirm Marino. Save that. And then it should move faster which is it does which is good and now uh, so doing that you can either uh, if, if there is no if there is no configuration that closely matches your printer uh, or you have a your own homemade type printer then uh, what I suggest you do is you go into uh, an editor and then you make a file called local.cfg. Let me just quickly do that. So I'm going to start a new file. Um, I'm going to make a section called system. Actually, I'm going to go on to I'm going to go into settings, on to redeem, and then there's a, 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 a link here for the configuration of redeem which what I want is just to test this out. I want a section called system and I want a machine type that matches that. So um, let me just copy this and place that into here. And then you can change stuff if you want, but I'm just going to change the machine type to, to, um, to see if this is working as it should. Uh, but my causal printer, I'm going to call that. Great. And I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to save it as local.cfg. So local.cfg. And that is uh, because there's like a hierarchy of uh, configurations. <clears throat> So at the bottom, there's default CFG, uh, which is sort of the catch-all. And then over that is printer.cfg, which is just a symlink to whatever printer profile you have. And then on top of that, you can have local quirks, which is called uh, local.cfg, and that will override everything else. Um, so ideally, you don't 
put everything into there. Don't copy uh, default.cfg because once you do once you do uh, once you up update the, the firmware, um, once you update redeem, the local file is kept, but the other files might change. So you know, just override whatever you need, okay? Local.cfg, save that. Oh, where did I actually, where did I save that? Save my, it was in my home folder, okay, good. So, um, going back into Kamikaze, um, there is a an M code for uh, checking your uh, printer firmware version which is M115 and that will say now machine type causal mini because I chose the causal mini uh, configuration in the settings panel but if I go into settings I go to redeem plugin and then I choose import profile I browse to my whole home folder and I choose local.cfg I overwrite the existing file and I choose and that's fine this local will not show up in this list because it's it's a special file but if I try to restart redeem now and connect and do another m115 I see that the machine time is my causal printer, which is then overwritten by, uh, so, you know, that works. That's like the highest level thing there. Okay, so that's one way to sort of configure your printer. So if you want to configure something, then uh, go into settings and the wiki page for redeem and then you should have all the all the different uh, sections documented here there's also a lot of documentation in the actual file and now redeem is still undergoing a lot of development so if you want like the latest information uh, you should always check the actual file for um, uh, for what the settings are so um, that file is now it's in the repository but I can link to that from the wiki page and so that will make this easier for everyone <laughs> hopefully okay that's all I have the repository link is here so you can go there and then you can go into source and then you can go into develop because that's where what we're on now and configs and then default so if I haven't managed to put out a link then <laughs> that's how you do it god I'm lazy Jesus I need to put that link up there okay hopefully that was uh, a good introduction on how to get started with uh, replicate